Okay, we're back here again. Weather's getting snowier and colder as the days go on and on. Yeah, just a just a shit show today. Right. <laughs> but one day, um, one day closer to getting a little nicer spring weather. But anyway, so today we're going to reveal our top three, not in any special order, cigars from what we talked about, our top eight or ten or whatever we named last time. On that, so I don't think we should do them all at once. Let's just give one or two at a time. Give one at a time, and you know we got some other events coming up. We're going to talk about, um, you know, some things. Wouldn't give you an excuse to come out, enjoy some cigars, drinks. Yeah, so we do have a few things coming up. Uh, we've got Aganorsa Leaf um, Experience that we'll be doing a Fuma event at our Allentown location. Uh, that's coming up this Friday. All right, so tell them, because I, I didn't know this till we did this similar type of event last year. Because mm -hmm. I really wasn't 100% um, sure what you meant by a Fuma event. So a Fuma is not like a completed cigar, right? It, it's a it's basically just a just a, a leaf. And it's what the, the blenders use just to taste yes. one tobacco when they're doing their yeah. recipe yeah. and blending a cigar, right? So they may, they may smoke 25... 50, don't do that. Fumas. Don't, don't do that. Been there, <laughs> done that. And don't smoke the whole thing. <laughs> it's not like a cigar. You're not a hero. You're not yeah. a champion. You're just, not going to be able to do it. Trust just me. Taste. Uh, That's why we're only going to be doing two, right? right. So we're going to be doing two different types of leaf, which is their their main leaves that they use at Aganorsa, uh, Criollo 98 and the Corojo 99. Right. We'll smoke that individually, one at a time. Just the leaf, so you you get the taste of just that. Yep. It's not a just full finished tobacco. cigar. No. It's just the leaf, right? It's just to get an idea of what it tastes like as far as like the Criollo. And then, then you taste the Corojo. See what that tastes like individually. And then you smoke it together, right? right. And then you're going to see what the combinations of those two tobaccos is. Now, when we did this many years ago, we did like 25 different, I mean. And we didn't know. We didn't know you're not supposed to smoke the whole, boy, the whole thing. No, no. Makes you sick. Yeah, it's, it's brutal. Is it what high nicotine? And oh yeah, the leaf it's straight. Yeah, plus I mean it's human nature. You see all these. Oh, I'm gonna smoke this real quick. I'm gonna smoke that one. No, nope. don't, don't do want it. That one. <laughs> but anyway, so that's coming up. What Friday? Friday, we're gonna be doing it from three to six at our Allentown store. store on Tillman Street. Yep, and then we're gonna be doing it from eight to eleven here at uh, Smoke Ring Smoke Cigar Bar. Yeah, so it'll be real nice. Uh, uh, Fabian will be here from Agonorsa as well as uh, Mike King. So I mean, we're gonna have a really Really nice. Well, that's nice talking to guys like that because yeah, we all know cigars and what we like. Yeah. These guys, if you want, they could give you the inside, the inside story on the blends and how it's made. And uh, I think so that's forth. like you know the main objective if you're attending a cigar event is to attend something that it's going to be educational. Absolutely. Right. Educate yourself. Try different things. Learn mm -hmm. about what you're smoking and learn and understand why you're smoking what you're smoking. Right. Right. Just don't smoke something and be like, hey, I like it. Well, yeah. You should understand you why know, you like it. Yeah, what's in it. You know, you know, and then easy to branch out from there. Yeah, I know what I like. So I got, I'll give you my <laughs> one of my three right now. One of my three is a Padron 4000 Natural. But I'm looking for a little more strength, a little more uh, flavor, really satisfying. Yeah, without and going uh, over the top. But, oh, yeah. Right? I'm not, yeah, there's a, there's not a over the, nice and not over the top line. with strength, but also not over the top with price. Yeah. Right. Definitely. Really nice. Yeah. Well, well, well worth the price. Uh, well worth the cigar for the money on the Padron Four Thousand Natural, classic line. Now that's just the size I like. They make a three and a five. If you yeah. like some a little smaller, or a little bigger, but I like the flavor at it a four thousand. Yeah. yeah. Perfect size for sure. For sure. Um, I am smoking one of my top three, which is the H ninety nine, and this is in the robusto format, right? Um. Size matters. It yeah, really does. Right? It really does. I saw I saw a guy on the, on a forum the other day, and he was just getting into cigars, and he, he said, you know, I've been just smoking the smaller cigars for now and just trying to work my way up. And then, you know, a blender, one of the blenders at a very well-known uh, manufacturer said, you know, you really should start with a 6 by 50 He said 48 to 52 ring gauge. He said the smaller smoke is going to be – tends to be more concentrated – you know, higher nicotine content and a little, little stronger. He said, start a little bit bigger mm -hmm. size and work your way down. Um, you know, but if you're, you know, you're in the, you know, we're, we're 25 plus year smokers yeah. here, you know, um, 
we get to pick out exactly what we want and not have too much variation mm -hmm. as far as okay. strength. But that brings up the other argument with that, where they say, and I don't know which right or wrong, everybody has a different opinion, it seems, on this, that a lot of the flavor comes from the wrapper. But if you're smoking a 54, 56 ring gauge, the wrapper compared to your build binder and filler is minor. It isn't how much flavor you're really getting from yeah, I mean, your filler and binder. It's a ratio. It's a percentage. I mean, so I, the bigger I actually, ring. That's why I don't like to go over a fifty. Yeah, the bigger example. ring, you're having less less filler so to to wrapper. You're wrap. going to have more wrapper. More wrapper yeah. to the filler. If you so like that's where the wrapper. Yeah, on it to do with that. So I don't know what is right or wrong with that. Yeah, just find that uh, comfort zone. Yep. Uh, there is no right or wrong. That's no. why they make, mm -hmm. you know, how many different sizes. Exactly. Uh, and you get a different flavor. So if, if the wrapper is so, if you believe the wrapper is really important and you like that flavor, yeah. you're better off going with a Corona or a Robusto or something. And a lot of times these blenders will, they'll blend a cigar to a size, hmm. right? They're not going to blend a cigar and then just make it in all different sizes. Yeah. They know what they want it to, the final product to be and in what size. Yep. You know, and sometimes they'll only make one size. Yep. That's it. No one, doubt. maybe two, mm -hmm. but it, they know that that blend's not always going to work in a six by 60. Right. Churchill, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty specific stuff. Mm -hmm. So what do you got for your, your second, your top three? Oye de Nicaragua, Cinco de Cinco. Oh, there you go. I yeah. knew you were coming with that. I really, really enjoy that cigar. Yeah. 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 I mean, hands down, you know, very, very enjoyable cigar. Mm -hmm. um, nothing too powerful. Uh, it's just, it's got a great balance to it. Yeah. That's what I find myself smoking a lot of. Mm -hmm. My number two I'm smoking it now is the Rotura Fuente Double Chateau Natural. Great size, creamy, smooth, a lot of flavor. Makes you fat, make you feel fat and happy. <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, like after dinner, you light one of these up. You feel That's you're the really secret to feeling fat and happy. happy. All right. All right. Wash and your dinner down with these if you like a little drink with it or something. But right here is, uh, you can't go wrong. It's a wheelhouse, double, right? Double shack. Yeah. That's a no good doubt. everyday, everyday cigar every for day. every smoker. For everything. Experienced or not. Um, and touching a little bit more upon like the, the size. You know, when, when the H99s came out, they were only available in the Toro, right? Then they came out in the Robusto, and the Robusto just kind of like, I mean, it was over the top, in my opinion, better mm -hmm. than the Toro for whatever reason. And that kind of brings me down to my number three cigar, which is the Papa Saka, right? The original one that came out was the Saka Con, mm -hmm. um, 7 by 54 whereas the Papa smoke. Saka yeah. is a much smaller, you know, ring gauge, shorter cigar. And, uh, you know, really the blend changed, you know, even though it's the same components. Oh, yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah. I mean, for me and yeah. my taste, it was it was really good, really good, much better. And I'm not a seven by 54 cigar smoker to begin with. No. But, you know, that that really did it for me. So that that's my number three cigar. All right. And then I guess my last for the last one. And I, w I was torn with this one because I had two that I smoke a lot of, probably at least four or five of each a week. Of each one, but I had to narrow it down to the Diamond Crown number four natural. Man, I was wrong. But I was what I was thinking. I was wrong. But yeah, you can't Not go wrong diamond, with that. Well, you can't go wrong with anything. No. But the Diamond Crown number four natural. Yeah. Again, great size, great cigar, consistent. That's like one. Well, I mean, a lot of cigars are consistent, but every once in a while you get something that may not burn perfect because they're all handmade. But that cigar never will have i mean and i like very that too. rarely because you know i like to buy them by the box of cigars because sure. you save a couple of bucks off your single stick Definitely. price some of these cigars you save two three dollars a stick oh yeah by Absolutely. buying the box but the diamond crown Absolutely. is nice it's only a box of 15. right so it's not like you have 25. I, and in our stores cigar. you're getting a box discount oh yeah you you're know getting box a of discount. 15 you're getting a box discount box but they're nice for a box of 15 doesn't take up a lot of room in your humidor at home yeah or wherever you're keeping them um so that, I mean, that's my... and I see a lot of manufacturers doing that with the box count. I mean, Diamond Crowns historically has been that. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, getting back to that Aganorsa event that we've got coming up, um, the Valedicion, boxes of 15. Yeah. Anniversario, perfect. boxes of 10. Yeah. Right? That's grab perfect. A, 10, easy 15. to grab a box. Yeah. 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 Take advantage of that discount. Yeah. So we got that. And then a couple other things we'll wrap up what we have coming up here at Smoke Rings. So starting 
first Friday in February. We're going to try something new. You know, we're always trying to do different things. It's going to be the first Friday of every month. So the first Friday, uh, February, I believe it's February 2nd, we're doing what we're calling First Friday Happy Hour Party. Six to eight o'clock, two-hour open bar, basic well, well drinks, beer, wines. Two-hour open bar. We're going to have chicken fingers, pizza, penny vodka, and cookies, little sweet dessert. Yeah. From six to eight, advanced ticket sales. So we need you to come in and just reserve and get your ticket or just pay just so we know how much food and everything else yeah. we need. And that's great because And it's... also a DJ. We're going to have some music at the weekend started out uh, Friday at 6 yeah. o'clock. I mean, that's something that you put on the calendar. Yeah. You know, it's going to be the first Friday of every month. You know, come on in, get your advance tickets just so, again, we, we know how to prepare. Yeah, we you know, know how much staff we need, yeah. how much food we got to bring in. because we. So it's all that. But we're looking, we're thinking that's going to be a good time, especially yeah. now it's ugly outside. Mm -hmm. An excuse to get out on a... On a Friday night, early six to eight o'clock, fill and, your uh, belly with some penne vodka, right, and then get fat and happy after a, a double cigar. Double chateau natural, <laughs> double chateau natural. You be fat and happy. Be taking a nap by nine o'clock, right? That's all right. You might be ready for bed by nine, or at least you had your your fun and entertainment in already. Absolutely. So, yep. But that's what we got coming up. But uh, thanks for staying, stay, you know, watching and. Hopefully you learned something from it or not, or at least tried a couple of cigars we talked about if you never have. Yeah, get out of your and you comfort might, zone. And you might, you might find something you like. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So stop in, and again, come see us Friday in Allentown or Smoke yep. Rings. Pick up a box of the Aganorsa. Yep.